Comment time! Donut Eater 111, or is it Don You Teeter 111, writes, Correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't word jerk another term for crotch puncher? Colon P. I will gladly rise to the opportunity of correcting you if you're wrong, and since you are, allow me to raise a few counterpoints. Pointing out someone else's inherent flaws in word structuring could be considered crotch punching under certain circumstances, but not all circumstances. Otherwise, every language teacher in the world would be a crotch puncher, and that's just not the case. Furthermore, yes, I was being a word jerk, but I also drew attention to my own word jerkiness. You see, it's that self-referential codswallop again. Just like how referencing the badness of a bad joke after telling a bad joke makes said bad joke suddenly okay, bookending a borderline crotch-punchy bout of word jerkery with self-deprecating comments drawing attention to my jerkiness makes said word jerkiness suddenly more acceptable. In other words, had I just come out and reamed amusing syllable yesterday without irony or tongue-in-cheek attitude, the heroin versus heroin diatribe would have seemed a little bit more crotch-punchy. But I didn't, so it shouldn't have. On the other hand, one could make the case that trying to correct the spelling-slash-grammar of YouTube commenters is like trying to cut metal with a blade of grass. So I'm going to retire my word-jerk alter ego after only a day in an attempt to avoid further rebukes towards my status as a butt-kicker. Because your words, DE111, they hurt me like a thousand swords. That means I may be a word-jerk, but you're a... sword-jerk. <laughs> Good afternoon, butt kickers. It's March 22, the 81st day of 2011, which means it's World Water Day. Now, that's not a very specific holiday. It doesn't articulate whether it exclusively celebrates potable water, or water exclusively that is in liquid phase, or if it celebrates water that is a part of our very bodies. So let's just say that World Water Day celebrates every molecule of H2O on planet Earth. I also feel like water should get more than one day. It should get, like, a month. I mean, water is the single most important compound to life on this planet. Water is the water of life. I just think that giving water only 24 measly little hours of recognition is highly indicative of the tendency for civilized people to take water for granted. Since you watched this program, I can surmise you have the internet. And since you have the internet, I can surmise that you're civilized. And since you're civilized, I can surmise that getting drinkable water for you is as easy as going over to your faucet and turning a knob. Also, if you have internet but no water service, you need to straighten out your priorities. Also, probably take a shower. The thing is, not everybody has that kind of luxury. There are people in this world who have to walk miles and miles to get water that isn't even clean. I mean, sure, while your tap water might taste like sulfur juice, at least it's clean. If that doesn't convince you that water should get its own month, then look at it this way. Last month was Black History Month, and this month is similarly dedicated to women's history. But do you think that the people that represent those respective histories could have done what they did without something to drink? So water should have its own month. Heck, it should probably have two months. Heck, it should have the whole year. I know we've already designated 2011 as the International Year of Protecting Your Lawn from Zombies, but I think we should tack on an addendum. 2011 is now the International Year of Protecting Your Well-Watered Lawn from Zombies. Speaking of 2011, she's now 18 year years old. They grow up so fast, and Rosalina, you are no exception. Although now that you're of legal age... I just have to figure out how to get romantically involved with something as abstract as a year. I think I'll start by fondling my calendar. Good luck, other Griff. Here's hoping you get pepper sprayed into oblivion. Although, Rosalina, now that you're 18, you can buy a gun. I suggest that if other Griff ever comes a-knockin', that you meet his drool-covered face with a 50 cal. Until tomorrow, I'm Griffin. I'm still talking.